Hi, I'm Roger Harrison. I do the training seminars here every month, and I'm standing next to a full revolution clutch press, the old dog clutch presses, which we have updated with a new control system, which includes two hand trip buttons, a foot switch, and a sliding gate device. Now, this is somewhat different than the interlock guards that we also supply, because it opens and closes on every cycle of the machine. The advantage being it puts an extra piece of polycarbonate between your face and the hazard if something in the die should shatter. So if we use the foot switch to bring it down, it slides down on a track and hits a switch at the bottom of the track, like this, which then tells the machine to cycle. After the cycle's finished, the gate opens up, you can feed another part. The finished part has presumably been ejected out the back of the machine. So the gate device, in this case, is a gravity drop with a slight bleed off the air pressure. So if I can hold it back, that's not an air driven gate. If you happen to have an air driven gate, then you need what's called a bump switch or pressure sensitive switch on the bottom edge. So if somebody's hands in here as the gate drops, it doesn't squash their hand. Now we could also use a two hand actuating means to cycle this machine like this. So I'd have to hold on to the buttons until the gate drops which would occupy my hand. That can also be used as just a standard two-hand trip. If the gate device were not here, we could use the palm buttons as a safeguarding means, like that. Thank you.